everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. My name is Millie and if you are new here then hello. I make videos all about makeup and beauty and testing new products, tutorials etc etc and although I have absolutely no makeup training or knowledge or qualifications or anything like that I really really love it and I upload three times a week on a Monday, a Wednesday and a Saturday so there's always new videos here. I would love it if you would consider subscribing but today's video is all about this palette here. This is the Beauty Bay Berries palette and obviously this is full of amazing pinks and purples, we've got baby pinks, we've got beautiful bright neon pinks, the ones down at the bottom as well are more like brownie nude, very very wearable shades in my opinion but this is the look that we created today. I have also swatched every colour for you and spoken about the formulas and such things so if you want to see the swatches and hear my thoughts and also how I created this look then just keep watching. So let's just get straight into the swatches. So this is the Beauty Bay Berries palette and obviously it has so many beautiful pink berry tones. This shade in the middle I've already swatched and it is so intense but let's just go row by row. So on the top row the first shade is Doll and as with all of these palettes I will swatch the matte shades twice and the shimmer shades once. So that's two swipes of Doll. The next shade is a shimmer and this one is called Sofa and that has a really pretty like gold reflect to it. Can you see that? That's really pretty. And then the last shade on the top row is Macaron. Macaron? <laughs> Something like that. And that is a slightly brighter hot pink shade, sort of leaning a little bit more neon hot pink. Really pretty. So then the middle row we have Fuchsia and that is a shimmer. Oh, that is pretty. Then the middle shade is Lilo, and that is a true hot, hot pink. So that's one swatch of that Lilo shade, and then I'll just build it up with two. That's so pretty. And then the last shade on the middle row is Cloud, and this is almost like a sheer baby pink with almost like an iridescent reflect to it. Get a bit closer and you might be able to see that. <laughs> that's a really really pretty shade, that's really unique. And then on the last row this first one is a matte shade and this one's called Journal. So that's two layers of that one, that's built up really nicely. Then next is Jura and this is a really deep purpley almost brown shade. That's really pretty. That has a purple reflect to it that is beautiful. And then the last shade is Loyalty. So that's two layers of that Loyalty shade. These aren't colours that I normally go for but wow. <laughs> beautiful. It's so hard to decide when all of the colours are so pretty. I feel like the first three, one, two, three, would make a really beautiful eye look. Oh, before before I go on to that, I will just go over them one last time. So this is Doll, Sofa, Macaron, Fuchsia, Lilo, Cloud. Can you see that one there? There is a swatch there. Uh, Journal, Jura and Loyalty. So that's the last overview. As I was saying, I feel like the first three would make a really beautiful eye look by themselves. I feel like the last three would make a really deep, beautiful eye look all by themselves. But what do I want to do today? So, as I did with the last two testing videos, I have already done my brows and my concealer and um, like eye primer over the lid. I used the collection Stretch Concealer and Eyeshadow Primer all over the eyelid and then I just patted over it with a little bit of setting powder 
So, I think I'm going to start with Doll on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. Use this as my sort of transition. Oh, that's coming a lot brighter than I was expecting it to. So I've just used that big eyeshadow brush and that's just that one colour. I think I'm going to go in with a smaller eyeshadow brush, a similar shape and go back into that doll shade just to see how much we can build that up sort of in the crease and on that outer corner because so far this is all just that one colour and it's just making its own sort of pastel gradient it's so pretty so I'm just going to tap a tiny tiny little bit of macaron over that outer corner not even as much as that Ooh. just to deepen up that colour a teeny tiny little bit more but sort of only as much as that so I did try to just use a small amount of that but it's so pigmented that has sort of gone like halfway across the eye I'm not mad about it <laughs> it's just perhaps a little more than I was hoping for but whatever I'm now going to go in with Sofa I think I'm just going to stick on that top row so that was the first one we used that was that second one on the outer corner and now I'm going to go in with Sofa and I'm going to use my finger as I've learned from the other Testing Beauty Bay videos that I've done the shimmers are beautiful but you have to apply them with your finger so I've got some on there and I'm just going to tap this over the inner half of my eyelid then going over with that first fluffy brush then taking a tiny little brush and packing on cloud <laughs> for on the inner corner why did I do that like that? <laughs> I just want that to be right in there and then back in with that small fluffy brush just to blend over all of that on the inner corner and is that the quickest <laughs> of these that I've done probably. I'm going to make my life a little, bit, a little bit more difficult though because I think I want to use one of these shades for a wing. A little bit of micellar water on a cotton pad and I will clean up this outer corner first. Wing! Like so. And then I can just follow that line with the wing. Makes my life a little bit easier. <laughs> So I think I'm going to go in with Loyalty, the sort of pinker of the dark tones. This one's more purple, sorry, this one's more purple and this one's more pinky. So I think I'm going to go with that one. So this is this shade Loyalty and I'm packing this on a really small, thin, angled brush and I'm going to try and draw on a wing. <laughs> if you've been here before then you know I'm not great at wings. I'm going to try okay I'm gonna try <laughs> you know that meme where it's like I only wanted a little wing and then suddenly like as I went and corrected it I ended up with black all over my face well that's what I've done but just with purple wasn't exactly the plan but I'm going with it now <laughs> I'm going to go in with a black liner now so this is the Revlon Colorstay sharp line in black and I'm just going to follow that same line underneath and do some sort of wing. Mm, I suppose that's rescued it slightly. <laughs> okay, so I feel like the liner has helped that somewhat. I will just go in with that smaller fluffy brush. And I feel like it's this line here where that dark meets the first shade that we put on. And if I soften that, yes, that's better, isn't it? That line. I wanted that to be quite like a graphic liner moment but I'm just not feeling it. So if we blend that in, oh that's so much better isn't it? So much better. So I'll just go in with a bit of that first doll shade just to soften that down even more and really try and just blend out that line that we put in there. So much better, so much better. I mean there's still a bit of a line there but I can't get that to blend out so we're just going to ignore that. <laughs> I'm so much happy with how that looks now. And as always we will just quickly skip over what I'm doing on the rest of the face. So, Collection Gorgeous Glow Filter Finish, of course. <laughs> 
And then I brought over to use for this look the L'Oreal Skin Paradise, but now I think I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to go in with the NARS um, What Are You? Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have this in the shade Gobi L3. So I've got some dry skin issues going on on my nose, so don't look at that too closely. But I'm going in with the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer just under my eyes, just right in, just there. So obviously I already had that concealer and eyeshadow primer on the lid and that was like in the inner corner. I just need something there. <laughs> so I feel like I just need to lighten that inner under eye area a little bit. So the Lasting Perfection Concealer that I used, that was in the shade 5 Fair. I'm just going to go in with this one which is the Lasting Perfection Blemish Concealer and I'm going to use this in the shade Ivory 3 because I just want something a little bit brighter, just a tiny little bit there and I don't want to blend that out too much but I just feel like I need a lighter shade just in there. Yes, I feel like that looks better. Subtle, but I feel like that looks better. So for bronzer, I brought this one over, which is the Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Bronzer. And I did a whole video testing this. So if you want to see what my thoughts were on this one, I'll link it wherever I link stuff. I don't know which side it's at. This one? I think it's this one. <laughs> for bronzer, I'm going in with the MUA Bronze Perfection Matte powder. This is in the shade Sunset Tan and I'm just going to apply this quite liberally because I want the skin to be quite bronzed in contrast to the very pink eye. And I've brought over a blush but I'm not sure I'm going to use it. We'll see how I feel when I've got the bronzer on. <laughs> I'll probably change my mind. I want blush. <laughs> That was a very easy decision to make. I want blush. <laughs> but I'm going to use a slightly different tone to what we've got on the eyes. Now you could try and match it. You could have like a hot, deeper pink, like if you had a more of a plummy tone blush. I don't have a blush like that. Either way, I'm going to use this one. This is the e.l.f. Bite Size Blush in the shade Guava. And I think that the warmth of this will just sort of tie in with the warmth of like the tanned skin. I'm hoping like the color of it isn't too like overpoweringly blushy which a lot of my looks generally are <laughs> i think we've got enough pink on the eyelid and we don't need too much on the face for highlight i'm going in with revolution just my type which is my favorite highlighter and i'm just going to use this quite lightly just on the very tops of my cheeks I'm just going to use a little bit of setting spray now that all of those powders and everything are on my face once I'm happy with how well that's looking, which I am. <laughs> so this is the Revolution Fix and Glow Dewy Finish Setting Spray. This is the one that's in my project pan, so just trying to use through it, but I do enjoy it. Extra glowy now. <laughs> so I don't think I want any eyeshadow on the bottom lash line. I think I'm just going to go in with a bit of that bronzer just so that there's a bit of shading under there but I don't think I want any pink. I think I'm happy with the amount of pink we've got going on so I'm just going to go in with a small fluffy brush just buff that very very closely to the lower lash line and while we're just finishing off the eyes I'm just going to go in with a little bit of that Just My Type highlighter on the inner corner and I will also put this under the brow bone. Yes, I like that. So I know we just used that luminous setting spray on the face but I just want to set just here because that's looking a little bit greasy. So I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in a powder and just really really lightly tap over the I don't want to look greasy. Yes, that's so much better, isn't it? It's the little finishing touches like that that I just love. It just finishes it off so nicely. So mascara, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. 
and layering this up so that it's really really dramatic. Okay so that's the mascara done. I did also just run a tiny little bit of a nude liner in my lower waterline but I'm just going to try and find a clean bit on this cotton pad <laughs> and take off that lip balm that I had on. Just bounce over that with whatever I've got left on my beauty sponge and for lips I'm going in with the classic combination that I have wanted for the last like five videos that I filmed and I thought that I'd lost these and of course they were just in an old handbag that I'd put away for the winter now it's summer so that tells you how long ago it was that I had it so this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade Rose Addiction and the L'Oreal Colour Riche Shine in Coconut Plump these two are my perfect nude combo <laughs> Oh, I just love this lip combination. I feel like it's maybe a little bit cool toned. What I might do is just tap over like the outer corners with something a bit pinker. Is that better? Yes, possibly. I don't know. I feel like it's quite hard to like, do you just match the eyes or do you like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even use my words now. <laughs> you know what? I definitely think that that will do. I do just want to go over with a little bit more of that blush because despite the fact that I said I didn't want this to be too blushy, I want it to be a little bit more blushy than it currently is. <laughs> yeah, happy with that. My hair got bigger and bigger throughout this whole video. I do apologize. <laughs> so that is the finished look. I don't think I've ever done something where I haven't had the same colour on the lower lash line so I feel like this is quite out of the box for me despite the fact that it is a colour that I very very rarely use as an eyeshadow I feel like not having it on the under eye as well makes it a bit more dialed down and a bit more wearable for someone like me who doesn't wear a lot of pink I'm not really a pink kind of girl but I like how this looks so that is the berries palette if you want to see some more reviews of beauty bay eyeshadow palettes i have done four now this is my fourth one and i will link all of them or i will have linked all of them throughout the video so that you can go and see those i will also make some sort of playlist and put that together for you so if you want to see other beauty bay eyeshadow palettes then i will have them all together in one place but this is the finished look let me know what you think let me know if you have this palette and what other like combinations work well together but until next time thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>